Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? So today we are going to be unboxing another LED light. Yes, because as you guys know, I used to use T5s religiously. That is what is behind my head, just above there. And I'm done with them because you have to replace the bulbs on them. They're not as energy efficient. They tend to get hot and when they get hot and the plants actually touch the light, the foliage burns and I'm just upgrading my whole entire collection. So I will leave links down below for the Bloom Plus light. So I did go with a different light. That's not the Mars Hydro light here. If you've watched my Mars Hydro unboxings, you've seen that I had more so the square style and then I got the rectangular style. I've been using that rectangular style now for about two weeks and it's working great in this tent I have here, which is the two by two by four and it works wonderfully. It actually works better than my TS-1000, which was a little bit too bright for that size of tent. So that one's been upgraded into a bigger size tent, which is the Vivo Sun tent. But here, Ella's going for a midnight flight, um, is the Bloom Plus. So we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna unbox this bad boy, check out what's inside, see if he's worth it or not, and uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's open this, it's like Christmas. Gardner's Christmas is right now, if we're being totally honest. It's not in December, it's, it's right now. These guys are on Amazon. And so the one that I have here is the BP1500, 1500. It has a three by three foot coverage, full spectrum growing. So that means if it's in a tent, it could probably honestly do more. And I, I'm gonna have a video coming out next week about grow tents specifically and why they're so hugely beneficial to gardeners and just plant people in general. Um, if you're trying to rehab plants or anything like that, the, these lights combined with a grow tent is a great addition. So let's open up this Bloom Plus light if i can i'm incapable of it apparently what's the use of nails when nails don't do anything oh the struggle here is real what's the worst is the packages that have where you need to use like a special opener and they're like sealed or glued shut or something those are irritating but this is cardboard and it's still stumping me also lots of comments on my fish those are pond fish and those are the babies of my pond fish that are larger and those are going in the pond they're not staying in there so don't worry they're not tortured souls they spend about three months in that tank as babies they grow ginormous over that period of time and then they go outside and then they grow even bigger and then they spend their winter in the garage which arguably is worse okay Whoop. instructions we always know people don't like to use instructions okay so this is different looking than the other one so they do have a rectangular version and then they have a giant square version and they have the one that I have, which is the three by three coverage. Now it says that the coverage for the large, they have a six by six foot coverage one. So that one must be ginormous. Yeah, gross weight, 18.8 pounds. Wowzas. Okay, so this is important to note. If you are trying to get a plant to flower, you get less room. So the nice part about this is that this one, if you're doing for house plants or vegetative growth, so say lettuce or herbs, this is a three by three footprint. If you're trying to go for flowers, your footprint shrinks to about two by two. And the reason for that is because you need more intense light or different spectrum of light in different intensities for flowering. Oh, I like this. 
haven't even opened it yet, but I like this. So these are very typical with all LED lights. These are the adjustable clamps to let you adjust your height. Now, I have a video on how to adjust your light based on how your plant is reacting. So if you have bleach leaves or lime green leaves, that generally means that your light is too close. Whereas if you have leaves or stems that are getting very leggy with large internodes, you have your light too far away. So you need to adjust accordingly. Ta-da! So first reaction is this is better than the Mars Hydro one. How that's possible when I've fallen in love with the Mars Hydro one, I do not know. But this is much hardier. Um, so the Mars Hydro is more so a tin, like an aluminum almost, very bendy, very easy to dent. This, not so much. This is just quite literally a piece of steel, very heavy duty steel, with an LED light on it, mounted onto it. So like I said, this is the Bloom Plus model. This is the 1500. Now, wear protective glasses. Well, that's actually serious, you guys. Do not touch the LED while it is working. Hot is normal. Take the light while using sulfur or acid. Okay, so sounds like it probably heats up a little bit. I'm assuming it probably heats up about as much as the TS-1000, but I will keep you guys posted on how well this one works for me. Overall, super impressed with the size. It's very sleek, nice looking design. And quite honestly, I like this a lot more. This seems tougher. Tougher is the word I'm looking for. So let's plug it in. Let's go plug this bad boy in. I also really like this. This is like a waterproof um, connector and that's nice because i'm assuming if you only had one plug-in area and you want to run multiple lights that would be the junction where you could potentially run more lights from so very very neat hello and welcome to my boring kitchen there's a convenient plug-in like right here so i'm just gonna be ready to be amazed put your sunglasses on I'm just kidding you don't have to because you're watching this through the thing so let's see what mr. bloom plus looks like me oh my well besides my neighbors probably thinking that there's a UFO in here this is literally lighting up the entire room so if you ever need a light to light the room this would be it so you guys can see there is the red light and there obviously is the blue light yellow light there's a full spectrum here so you can use this i'm gonna unplug this to get your plants start to finish so that means you could use this for an indoor growing system or seed starting it's going to work in both ways as well as you can use it for rehab on indoor plants or if you're looking for rapid excessive amounts of growth then this is your solution especially if you're looking to trade and sell plants then honestly i would probably invest in something like this very similar footprint to the TS-1000. However, I would argue it's probably built a little bit better. It seems a little bit more hardy har har. However, it does say it heats up. So I'll plug it in. And if it's a notable amount of uh, heat, you will hear from me here in the next five seconds. But if it's just a regular, normal amount of heat lamp or uh, grow light heat, then that's totally fine. And honestly, I don't mind heat that much because you can add fans to reduce it. And it actually does kind of help with your germination rates quite a bit. So something to keep in mind. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, for joining me in my kitchen, for trying out this light. Like I said, I will leave links down below for all the different versions you can get for both US and Canada. They are through Amazon. And if you are in the market for a grow light, an LED light, then honestly, 
I would go the LED route. I'm completely transitioning all my lights out because I am seeing quite the miracle work happening with LED lights. So something to keep in mind. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments down below, as you guys have before, what your favorite lights are, what you're currently using, and what you would like to upgrade it to. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!